Hello everyone, my name is Miss, and welcome back to some more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Last time we did Cormay Clash's Kirby, this time we are going to be doing Fox's route, Spaceborn Smash. <clears throat> so, for Spaceborn Smash, all of the opponents are going to be Space Travelers. It's kind of self-explanatory in the name. So, let's get right on into it. As always, we are going to be going all the way to 5.0 difficulty. So, let's get started with our first Traveler. Which is Samus. Ready? Go! Now, Fox is one of the better characters in this game. He's fast, strong, and he can and very agile too. Like an actual fox is. Ow. <clears throat> Although I wouldn't say he's the strongest character in the game. But he's a still a pretty good fighter to use. A lot of competitive players actually use Fox, so... Oh god. So... Ow. Come on! Seriously, if I die on the first person... That will be humiliating. Oh my god, I swear to god. Where? Oh, I... I was hit with a small ball. Come on! Thank god! Jeez. <clears throat> well, that's one character down. Up next, we have Rosalina and Luma. Ready, now, I think some people might be a bit confused on why, uh, if we're fighting all space travelers, why Rosalina is one of the characters that we fight. Well, it's because Rosalina is a, is a space traveler. You just have to know the backstory of Super Mario Galaxy in order to know why that is. But since some people don't care about backstory, I'm not gonna bore anyone with the details. I swear to God! Continue. As someone who mains Rosalina as a- as someone who has Rosalina as a secondary main, I- that should- that is unsurprising. That I died. And I have no idea how I actually pulled that kill off because I'm pretty sure I missed. Even though it wasn't shown on the screen. But anyways, Meta Knight. Meta Knight is someone I, I get scared to go against because Meta Knight is really strong. He was banned- Meta Knight was banned in Brawl tournaments for a reason. Ooh, Pokeball! I want it. Grab it! Blossom not gonna do crap for me. Eh. So... I, I would also like to point out that the music that will play in each um, um, stage actually is a song from that character's game series. And except for the fourth one, I don't know why the fourth one is different, but it just is. The fourth one actually plays a song from the Star Fox, from the Star Fox games, even though it's not a Star Fox character. But yeah, now we're on the round four, which is Dark Samus, and we actually have Zero Suit Samus helping us. Also, it's a giant Dark Suit Samus, so that's lovely. Oh god! So... Also, for anyone who's watching this, I'm sorry this is up so late. There's... was things I couldn't control, so... It... so... This is coming up later than usual, but... It's still gonna come out on Monday. Like I'm trying to do. Oh, okay, what the... What just happened? I know for a fact I didn't hit because my controls usually rumble when I hit someone. Ready? Go! Whatever. Next up we have Olimar. Ow. Oh god, no! That would have been very... What am I getting hit by? Oh, it's blue paint. Come on! 
I'm getting hit by the blue Pikmin again! He's not dead? No! Hey! You can die! Ow! He has a drill. Wait, I have the drill! Oh my god. But... That's round five down. Next... Round six is pretty interesting. It's different compared to the other rounds. We will we will be fighting Wolf, and this is actually a reference to a meme that was started last in, in the last game, which is Fox only Final Destination no items. This is a direct reference to that because because for, for the Fox only part, Wolf is a pseudo clone of Fox. And what that means is Wolf has some of the same movesets, but is still a slightly different character. Not like an Echo character. Not like an Echo character. Like some of the others. Final Destination, as you can see, this is Final Destination version of Venom. I didn't mean to do that. And as for the no items part, as you can clearly see, there's no items being being put on the stage. But, yeah, also, I'm pretty sure this is the, the final destination is Venom because Venom is usually the last stage in the Star Fox series. Also, I'm sorry if the, if the volume keeps getting quieter and quieter. For some reason, I keep leaning away from my mic. And usually my mic... Um... It doesn't pick up sound as well as other mics do, but I don't really have the money to pay for better stuff right now. Also, here we are at the bonus game. Hopefully I can actually do better at this bonus game than others, because I still remember that I died twice. Link and Samus were the two times I've actually died on the bonus game. I honestly don't remember if I died in Zeus and Dark Samus, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Alright, let's try to get this for once. God. Nope! Ugh. Come on! Come on! Ugh. I can still do this. Oh my god, that was very stressful at the end. Complete. Also, I just realized I probably missed a mark. I missed a goddamn mark again, come on! So like I said in the other Master Hand battles, if you can finish... If you can get this far as 7.0, then Crazy Hand will join you. At this point, the Let's Play Curse is the running gag of this channel. Because, I, because I have gone Crazy Hand with every single one of these characters so far. Except because... Well, I didn't mean to say so far. I've gone Crazy Hand with all these characters back when I wasn't recording. Except for one character, but I'm notoriously bad at that character. Oh god. So, I don't understand why I'm playing so badly now. Am I just out of practice or something? I'm not usually this bad with... I'm not usually this bad at these games. But, there we go, and I... Probably should have said this earlier, but Master Hand and Crazy Hand are supposed to reference the final battle in most Star Fox games, which is fighting Andros. When Andros usually protects his face with his two disembodied hands, and both Master Hand and Crazy Hand are disembodied hands. So. As we can see here, we are now at the cred scene in 
the credit scheme is actually the main theme of Star Fox. Um, I noticed that um, that with a, when it comes to these credit themes, they usually are a main theme or a credit theme. I think it's only for certain characters that it's a specific character theme, but that's only for I would say characters that don't really have a huge role in the game series they're in. That's gonna be unapparent for the first few episodes because a lot of the characters that were in Super Smash Bros. 64 are the main characters of those games. And we're still gonna see main themes and credits themes um, when in the later episodes too, but I think that's more because um, it's their game series being represented for the first time. I haven't really memorized every single character's cre credit scheme for this game, so... So, I'm just saying what I think happens. My predictions are usually wrong, but I think I'm right on this one. And a good example of my predictions being wrong is when it came to The Voice Season 22 this season. I thought Bodhi was gonna win. Apparently Price Lever would won. But, yeah. And... We should be almost done here. Did I miss the mark again when it comes to filling up this goddamn bar? Please don't tell me I did because I... I get very triggered when I don't see that bar filled up. Come on. Okay, I got the fil bar filled up. I don't have to get anxious about that. Now. Come on. So. That is it for Fox's classic Route Space 1 Smash. As we can see, we have Fox posing on Venom as the portrait. Oh, X. Final results. So we have Boney from Mother 3, and that's it. You've reached the limit for certain awards, so some rewards cannot be received. What the hell does that mean? I don't know what that means, but okay. That's the first time I've ever gotten that notification. Well, anyways, that was it for Fox. Next time, we will be doing Pikachu and his route, I Choose You. I'm pretty sure you can figure out what the opponents are going to be like from that title alone. But anyways, that will be up on Wednesday. And hopefully, not as late as this one was. So until then, I will see you all next time. Take care.